Hey good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode we have the qualifying finals. We finish first, Hawks finish fourth, it's at Giant Stadium, Friday night. Oh I'm keen, it's finals time. Um yeah, as you saw in the preview, uh in Nick Haynes out, Lockie Ash, but yeah, let's hope and jump right in. Here we go, JBS Giants versus Hawthorne. Giants Stadium, Sydney, Friday night, finals football. There's our team, which I'm sure I know about now. There's Hawks team, which I'm sure I already know by now. Hawks run out, let's see what their banner says. They've got the bloody flamethrower things. The cheer squad's hard work is Mateship coach sacrifice. I thought I didn't say it yet because I thought there'd be something there. Okay, there is something above it. Endurance was a thing above it, so it was endurance. Mateship coach sacrifice. And that's what I wrote for. Bit of Hawks warm up, and here we come. We've got our sparklers. What is our banner say? Winter is no longer here. Spring footy is in the air. This is when we hit our straps and play with guts and flair. I skipped our warm up, but the national anthem, here we go. Here we go, final starts, and uh, so I think it might be Earl Gordon and Mark Pinnay's first ever final, but there is a bloke, I don't know why that's on countdown real time, um, there is a bloke that will be more hungry than anyone to go out there and win the flag, and it's the captain, Cal Ward, because he got injured, I think, injured or suspended, I'm pretty confident he was injured, throughout the whole of last year's final series. So he didn't manage to get that flag last year, so he'll be more hungry than anyone. Sends it long, and we could be on for a goal straight away. We could be on for a goal straight away. Harry Hillenberg, the Coleman medal winner. And he shanks it. O'Brien takes a much outside 50 and goes short to Jonathan Patton. So Jonathan Patton will line up for the first goal of the game. It's a difficult angle. Will he kick? Oh, he passes it. And he caught us all off guard. Liam Shields was wide open. I don't know who's on him, but it was disappointing. It's an easier angle. Yeah, about 40, yeah, pretty much 50 out. Liam Shields will line up first goal of the game. It's going to fall short. It's spoiled by Finn Layson. Don't know what he's doing on the way down there. Oh. Frost shrugs Finn Layson off and just kicks the snag. I don't know what is happening, but none of us can tackle right now. Then punches it down. Oh, Brun absolutely decks old mate and then picks it up. Gives his hands to Taranto, who straightens up and kicks our first of the game. So we take it our lead back. Come on, Giants. Ward gets the hands out to Cornelio, who gets tackled with the ball up. Cornelio just gets the kick out. They can create from this. Hands Durant out by Ward, perfect response to Andrew, and now straightens up for his second of the game. Tim Taranto. Come on. Tim Taranto is starting well. Tim Taranto has been kicking a few goals recently, actually. It's Tom Mitchell, he gets tackled by Ward. Pizzanae wins the rock tap, but it's straight to Mitchell, and then he tackles Mitchell High. Lobs the handball, the tackle. Oh, missed the tackle. Oh, good stuff, Errol. Errol gives the hands to Cal Ward, who gives it back to Errol because he saw how wide open he was. And Errol kicks his first of the game, and our lead is out to 13 points now. But he chips it short because Cal Ward was wide open. I don't know who was on him, but that was poor by them. Now we've got Toby Green wide open. Finds him as well. 
This is absolutely awesome. Now Green just plays on, takes a bounce, he'll straighten up. Toby Green, it's going to fall to a beautiful spot and it's marked by Adam Kennedy. The full back, don't know what he was doing in the goal square, but worked out well in the end. That's another goal for us, a beautiful first quarter. Our lead 19 now. Tapped on the ground by Goulden. Oh, beautiful tap on the ground by Goulden and DeBoer. Taylor just mops it up and takes off. Gives the hands to Finlay so he can straighten up for his first of their game now. And we are running all over the Hawks in this first quarter. 25 point lead now. And it's a mark by Morrison who will line up now after the siren for the Hawks' second of the game. So just our lead to 19, Harry Morrison. And it's going to fall short, but with a good, no one was there, but a bad bounce anyway. So basically the points, quarter time, 5-1-31 to 1-1-7. That was an awesome, awesome quarter by us. They kind of uh, got the jump at the start, but then, yeah, we run all over them. Errol Gordon and Cal Ward both um, having an awesome game. I'm pretty confident this is Errol Gordon's first one, so I don't think it's going to finals last year in this career mode. And uh, Cal Ward missed out on finals last year, and he's hungry. Hungry for a for a premiership, and yeah, and Toronto as well. Actually, also just having an awesome, awesome first quarter, and yeah, and uh, it shows in the scoreboard with our four goal lead. Pidney wins the run, tapped on the ground by Hopper, tapped on the ground by Kelly, then picked up by Kelly. He goes to kick it, but was tackled. Goldman went to kick it, but was tackled. Toronto gives the hands off to DeBoer, who kicks the snag. That leads out to five goals, and Hawks have just not come to play today. Going to by Keith, but straight to Hawks player, and out they go. Go Davis, got to beat him there. It's going to be a two-on-one. Davis yonks away. Old mate should easily get there for him. But then Davis managed to make up enough room to get a tackle. Great stuff from Davis, but old mate still got it. It was Segla, still got it, and kicked the snag. So Hawks have their first of the quarter. Green wins the rock to Ward who just gets tackled and then it spills to McAvoy who can run, Goulden was about to catch him but he kicked it in time so McAvoy kicks his first of the game, two in a row for the Hawks and now leads down to three goals oh now it looks like, yeah, now, now they've gone back out the middle go Whitfield, tapped on the ground by Whitfield tackle, tackle Whitfield, someone tackle him inside the Hawks 50 we go now, ball on the deck here about Taylor. Taylor drops the ball. So 23, I forgot who 23 is, but he'll line up to reduce our lead to just two goals now. Hawks could bring this game within just two goals. It's O'Brien and he slots it. Hawks have three goals in a row and our lead is down to just two goals. Good bump, Pitane. Doesn't mark it though. Daniel Howe takes the mark over the top of him. Hawks go inside 50 again. Looks like it's going to go straight to Whitfield though, and it does. And the siren sounds. Our lead is just two goals now after a great quarter from Hawthorne. But I tell you what, Hawthorne are really, really missing that. Um, they're really feeling the absence of Bruce and Gunston because I wouldn't be surprised if they've had more inside 50. They've had level, but I don't trust the games inside 50 count because I swear some like sometimes you have like three inside 50s and like five goals. But um. But yeah, like I reckon they would have had more inside fifties than us because, I mean, let's actually let's just have a look at how many marks Davis has. I think he's had at least two, two, and um, two. Both of them have just been them sending it long and good bumps from Davis taking marks. I think two of Perryman's marks have been like the same thing. Um, Whitfield, one of his, have been doing that. Like, so yeah, they're really feeling the absence of those two very important forwards. All right, here we go. We hop into the second half. We have just a two-goal lead after the Hawks had an awesome um, run in that second quarter. Kelly gets the hands out to Cornelio. Whoa, he went to get the chipped handball over the top to Brum, but just didn't find him. Keith out, bumped, and it's marked by Chad Wingard. He then goes across to Jaeger and Mira. Hawks looking inside 50 now. Goes long to the pocket. Finds Tom Phillips. So Hawks could be on for an early goal here to reduce our lead to just one goal. This would be four goals in a row for the Hawks. And that, that's in. That's in, Tom Phillips. Hawks with a lot of momentum now. Mark Shields. 
Oh no, Kelly's giving away a free kick for block. Damn it. I knew it was risky doing it, but I sent it anyway. O'Meara will line up to give Hawks the lead. This will be the first time I've taken a lead since they kicked the first goal of the game. Jaeger O'Meara. It's going to fall short. But it's marked by Nash anyway, so. Connor Nash will just go back and slot this like two metres out directly in front. And Hawks now have a one point lead. Oh no. They've kicked the last four, five goals one. Come on, boys. Tackle, boys. Good bump, Davis. Now run. Run, Davis. Ah, that was dumb. That was really dumb by me. Ah, I thought... I didn't realise how fatigued Davis was. So I thought I'll tap it, keep running, and just take it over. But it did not work at all. Marked by Morrison just outside their 50. I'm guessing he's going to look for a pass inside 50. No, he's just going to play on. And then just go long. Good bump. How does Lewis still mark that? Oh, he should go back and kick this, and this would make their lead 13 points, and they would have kicked the last, like, six or seven goals one. Six goals one in the bed. No, it will be seven, actually. Come on. We need this goal. We actually really, really need this goal. Come on, Tanner Brum. He'll go for the snap. Open up the uh, angle. And I didn't push it out enough. Alright, they lead back down to two goals at least now, so at least it's just now a nice number. Good tackle. Ball spills. Go, Taranto. Run all the way in, Taranto. And he will. Taranto kicks his third of the game, and the Hawks lead is back down to just a goal. Come on. Jesus Christ. I was starting to get a bit nervous there. They were really running away with it. Go Gordon, gets the hands to Hopper, gets the hands to Taranto, can straighten up for his fourth of the game, Tim Taranto. Oh my lord, he kicked two quick ones to start the game, and now he's kicked another two quick ones to get him to four. Pinday wins the ruck, someone tackle boys, oh he decked him instead. Gordon just handballs it over his head to no one, but in the end it works out. Gordon gets the hands to Daniels and straighten up to give us the lead. He's kicked the snag, we've kicked three quick goals in a row now. And our lead is back. Come on. Jesus. Oh, and this, that was perfect timing to kick that any longer. And the scores would have been level going into the last quarter. Jesus Christ. What a game it's been so far. I shot right into the last quarter. Good spoil, Cornelio. Ball on the deck. Whitfield misses the tackle. So do a few of our plays. Left hand ball straight to Taranto. And we've caught him off guard. Everyone was trying to bloody rotate into um, Hawks 50. So the interception caught him off guard and Daniels has kicked another goal in this last quarter. Our lead is out to two goals now. Come on. Ward stabs it short. Perfectly finds Hogan. And then Braun accidentally clearance kicked it, thinking that Hawks got the ball. But that could be a very, very handy point in the end. Sicily runs after the ball. Picks it up. Gets the loose ball. Such on the ground by just off the deck. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, De Boer. In the end, it will be a very handy point because it ends in a seven-point play. And yeah, our lead up to 19 now. Hawks have really just died off late here. Ball up on the top of Hawks Square. And look at that. We just run it out with ease. Oh, hang on. Maybe not with ease. I've choked the handball. Oh, he goes for a goal, and that will be a snag. What a goal from Tom Phillips. Still time for the Hawks. Oh no. Oh no. Our lead's down to just seven again. Jonathan Segler kicks the snag. Cornelio out bumped. Shields takes the mark. Gets the hands. Oh. Go. Give the hands, Golden. Oh. Daniels straightens up, but he's kicked smothered. Bruins gives a hand to Taranto. Taranto for his fifth today. Tim Taranto's got five, and that, that should be the sealer. Tim Taranto has kicked a bag. What a game he is having. Oh, my Lord. I don't know if Hawks have enough time. Oh, now they've just kicked it straight to Flynn. That's not going to help them at all. Finlayson. Finlayson. They've left Finlayson wide open. Oh, I cannot believe they've done that in a time where... There might not be that much time left, but it's still not over. And then they've just left someone open in our 50. And now it is over. Can the Giants 
we win the qualifying final. Oh, there's a sign as well. We win the qualifying final. Jesus, I know it was 19 points, but still, that was a club. That was, a, in my opinion, that felt a lot, a lot closer than 19 points in the in the um, context of the game. And that is actually, this is shocking. That is actually our biggest win in a finals game last year. Yeah, qualifying finals, 18 point win, Prelim was 17, grand final was, was just 10. So yeah, wow. That is, uh, that shocked me, because that just, that game felt so much closer, I mean, Jesus Christ. I was honestly, there was actually a little portion in that last quarter I was thinking it would be so cool if we went to overtime, that would have been awesome, but um, but no, not. Here's a quick look at the other finals. So. Our game, we obviously won, so I got that tip correct. Magpies, Blues. Magpie, uh, Magpies, 47. Blues, 67. So the Blues got up by 20 points. So I think I actually got that one correct as well. Well, I did, yeah. And then Crows, Lions. Crows, Fogden, 31 points. So I'm pretty confident I got that one correct. And then Power Swans. I'm pretty confident I actually got all four this week. As the Swans got up by four goals. So we will either... Oh! We got the uh, showdown in a semi-final. That's awesome. And we'll play... The winner of that, Swans will play the winner of Hawks versus Blues. Let's have a quick look in the office, see, hopefully no one's injured or anything. Harry Perryman is injured. He's had an absolutely awesome, it's just one week, so I could send him to physio. I'm risk yeah, I'm just going to send him to physio, so he'll be back for the um, prelim anyway. Alright, thanks so much for watching, and well, you'll we'll find out who we're versing in the preliminary preview. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in that video.